Now UPSC once again came with interesting questions under environment sections related to flora and fauna in news, recent reports and questions based on your conceptual clarity. So we'll start with question number 17 of set A. Question says consider following statements regarding Indian squirrels. And the first statement is they build nests by making burrows in the ground. Second statement is that they store their food materials like nuts and seeds in the ground. Third statement is that they are omnivorous. And in this question, you have to identify correct statements. Now, what is the inspiration behind asking such questions? First, flora and fauna is one of the important theme under GS Paper 3. Second, UPSC wants to test your observational skill with respect to environment. Why I am telling this? Because in year 2014, UPSC has framed a question based on general characteristics of commonly found birds, which again based on observation skill. So coming back to the question, Indian squirrels are commonly found in urban areas. You can usually see them climbing the tree, walking on the ground. But it is not easy to see them burrowing the ground for nesting. And with this general observation, you can make your first statement incorrect. Why? Because Indian squirrels are arboreal in nature. What this arboreal means? That they live on the tree. They make their nests within the branches with the help of leaves, twigs, other material. But here is one exception. And that exception is Himalayan murmur. Unlike other tree squirrels, Himalayan murmur, which is usually found in Himalayas, is a ground dweller. They nest in the burrow underground. But this is an exception. Generally, Indian squirrels are arboreal in nature. So, with this knowledge, our first statement is incorrect. Now, Indian squirrels are known for their food storing capacity in various locations, including underground. And this process is known as catching, which helps them to survive in extreme conditions when food may be scarce, for example, in winter. So, with this, our second statement is correct. Usually, you can see Indian squirrels are feeding on fruits, nuts. But occasionally, they do feed on small insects, sticks of the birds, small mammals. This makes them omnivorous. So, this third statement is also correct. So, here, two statements are correct. So, our answer is option B, only two. 